Uh, Josh, um, just call over you because uh, you might, but we don't know yet, if we do this interview, you might twist your manager's arm um, because you're looking to get out and you want to get out as soon as you can. Yeah. There might be, there might be a little slot on the uh, undercard, in, on your undercard, yeah, it's alright. There might be a little slot on your undercard if you're stable, mate, in grease mould, uh, in Blackpool. Yeah, definitely 100%. If that's there, I'm in, I'm fit, I'm ready, and get, it makes sense because we're already up there, aren't we, Reese? So. We'll get, get Sean to twist his arm. I wonder, yeah. Hopefully, Hopefully yeah. Because it looks like Moorcroft's, uh, who was on that bill, he's, uh, he's, on, he's fighting the week before on the um, boxer show uh, in Newcastle on April yeah. 2nd. So I've got to catch up with him about that. But um, how are you feeling? Because I, really, I watched you last time out against a kid making his debut, Mr. Carl Samson. You know really yeah. well, don't you? Yeah. And uh, gave a little sod. Uh, very good feet. Yeah. Moved, moved away and made you chase him around the ring. And then I just watched him. He boxed his second fight on our show in Liverpool and uh, showed a total different side where he came forward and was quite aggressive against um, a little kid called Mikey Edges. Fine, he didn't get the decision. Uh, I think he got stopped after halfway through the third round because he ended up twisting and throwing um, Mikey Edges out of the ring. He landed on his eye and damaged his eye, couldn't continue, so I went to the school cards and he lost out. But it was a little bit harsh because he, he was doing quite well. Yeah, it's a, it's a decent kid, Carl, and a good amateur experience. So, and he comes from a good gym, doesn't he? So he's, He's a good boxer, but he wants to go on the road, doesn't he? But he didn't. Well, he wants to make money. In his last he's sensible, fight, isn't he? He wants to make. He listen, yeah. he's good enough to make money. Definitely. He's about staying safe as well, and uh, his feet, as he proved against you, are good enough to keep him out of trouble. Oh, definitely. He's on the move, isn't he? On mm. the bike, and um, he stayed out way and just. But he's a good boxer, isn't he? He's not like he a is. German, is it? Well, I think he got to a junior ABA final, didn't he? Something yeah. Like that. Well, like, I was talking to him after the fight, and he said I think he had about sixty odd amateurs in the. And lost about 10, so. Yeah, so yeah. Very good record. But a different route he's choosing to go down. Um, but you you want to move fast, don't you, mate? So, yeah. if you like to get this, is going to be his third fight uh, if you do get out there. But if, if you don't get on this show uh, on the 8th, as he mentioned to you when, when yeah. he was looking to get you out? Yeah, early, um, early May, I think. So, maybe the first week of May. Right. I think there's maybe a show. I think it's Armouries again, so it'll be them. But It'd be nice to get on that uh, Blackpool show. If mm -hmm. I could get on there, it'd be massive for me and um, try to get a six rounder. And it makes sense. Reese is up there fighting, isn't he? So, mm -hmm. and I'm in gym fit. I've been sparring last week. I think we did about 20 plus rounds. How have you found that then? Because obviously, this is a very important. Uh, the 26th of March is a very important night for this team. You've got two guys there that are topping the bill. You know, one wanting to regain his title and one to keep hold of his title. So. Is it has, it has the atmosphere atmosphere in here been any different? Is it is it a little bit more tense, or are you still all fairly late? For it? <laughs> sure, away the yeah. character in here, you know what I mean? Everything, nothing seems to fluster him or get him uh, too carried away, does it? I oh, know, I know. Um, no atmosphere in here's been bang on. Everybody's now that he's getting close, so you can feel it now. The the men are now on this. You can see Josh and Madea and uh, Max in the, they're there now, they're ready, are they? They've only got this last week and then it's that week. Well, what a brilliant experience for a young fighter like yourself, you know, who's developing and seeing what they're going through and knowing that hopefully in you know, a few years' time you're going to be at that level. Definitely. Well, I was doing all the sparring with them last week because a lot of sparring partners have been you know, pulling off and that. And I think I did like 20 odd rounds with Max here, Reese, and Josh last week. So, so if, all the best. If that can't well. bring you on, then what can? Definitely. That's like. Um, uh, with the garden show, I'm ready, ready to go. I, after my fight, I didn't even have a break. I was straight back in gym sparring. Um, I had a rest. I'm fit, I'm ready to go. How, how much is this bringing you on, being surrounded by these? You know, from, let's say, from, cause it's, from when you signed with us to when you made your debut uh, and your second fight, it's all been quite quick. It's all been done in within six months, this, hasn't it? Yeah. From, you know, coming here. How much better a fighter are you now from where you were six months ago? Are you unrecognisable? I'm a better fighter, yeah. Um, just things, what Sean's obviously watched me, what I was doing and showed me where I was going wrong. 
and getting in ring, watching Josh, Maxi Reese and all that train, it's just rubbing off on me and I'm getting better every day, day by day and um, that's why I want to move quick. Sean says, uh, if you keep having these four rounders and he says you're not gonna, you're not learning now. He says what I've seen in gym. He says I want you to move fast. He says you ready? But well, hopefully maybe early next year, fight for belt or something. Be nice. So, so you, you, this is next fight you would love to be a six. Six, definitely. Yeah, mm -hmm. be nice if we could get. A and six. do you feel the longer rounds are gonna benefit you? Yeah, definitely. I feel like get better as the rounds go on. Definitely. Because like I say, you know, you do only look about twenty, but yeah. you're, you're only twenty six now. 27. 27 oh, now? Uh, birthday, oh, it was, it was a few yeah. days after I came up to interview, yeah. wasn't it, last yeah. time? So I'm, you know, I'm not getting any younger, am I now? So I want to make a move and... But as Max it. improves, it, you know, it's, 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 you know, what's Max now? Max is 31, 31, 31, day, 31 Max, you know? Yeah. Uh, what's Josh, Josh 30? 30, 30, something like that, yeah, I don't, I don't actually know. Um, I know Max is actually But realistically, you know, it, I think fights age fighters rather than you know, age, if you know what I mean. Um, so hopefully, you know, if you can, 18 months, what are you going to be? You, you, you're still only probably a year into your prime uh, in another 18 months when you're going to be 28 and a half or something. Yeah. And definitely. hopefully that's where you, you should be. If we, if, if Steve can keep you busy, you can keep winning, winning keep injury free, then you could be 8, 9, 10 and on and looking for titles. Definitely, well, maybe even sooner. Hopefully sooner, but end of the year, hopefully I'll be five or six bouts in, five, six and oh. And you, you will, will you say, I presume, why wouldn't you if you're holding your own with these lot every day? Definitely, that's what Sean says. He says it's only holding you back if you keep, you know, stepping in and doing these four rounders. He says, I've, as soon as you get in there with better opposition, he says, obviously that's when you shine, so move quicker and then hopefully that'll make it. Well, obviously, you, you can't be fearing anything if, if you're in this, this is a tiny, tiny little gym full of talent, yeah. you know, and uh, if, nothing, if this isn't going to bring you on, nothing will work. Oh, definitely. If, if I can't do it in this gym, then I can't do it at all. That's yeah. how it is for me. But do you feel you can? 100%, yeah. 100%. Uh, if, if I spoke to you in, say we were just chatting in a pub in six years' time, what what would you love to achieve? Do you think you'll still be fighting, or do you think you would have? You know, where 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 would your your ideal place be? Because, you know, Josh didn't expect to be a world champion. You know, when he kicked off. Yeah. But he was only an eighteen year old boy. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, he he thought, well, maybe I could be British champion. So is it is it with you? Is is that how you're going to look at this? One fight at a time, one step at a time, one title at a time, and then keep reevaluating. One title at a time for me, but that British is where I want to be, definitely. Yeah. 100%. I believe I can win a British title, 100%. But start off, what was it, Central, then you go to a English. That's how I want to progress through it. Yeah. I, I don't just want to jump in there, I want to go through it and like. Yeah, make sure you're prepared, if, especially if, if it is a fast route and you do get these title fights in quick succession, then you need to make sure you do every step and not leapfrog one or two. Yeah, not skip it, but. That's where I want to be. A yeah, British title is what I'm aiming for. Mm -hmm. Be nice to want to bring. Then as soon as you get to there, if you do get to there, then then you have to reevaluate. Yeah, and then you. Which is exactly what Josh did. Exactly. Well, it was not quite that round, way round, but because I think did he win the Commonwealth before he won the British? I think he won the Commonwealth yeah. and then won the British. Yeah, yeah. So it wasn't quite the traditional route, but he had won the English. I don't think he ever won a Central Area though. No, did he not? No, no. no. So. Um, uh, yeah, that's a great stepping stone for every any fighter, and as well, you know, there's the potential of, of doing those two championship rounds, isn't it? You know, going to ten rounds yeah. from from eight. Well, listen, um, hopefully, I might see you on the eighth, but hopefully, if not, yeah, I yeah. presume you'll be on the show early in May. Then. May Armour is yeah, early May, so. Right, well then, so it's still going to be a busy year for you, no matter what. Definitely, hundred percent, yeah. Right, well, okay, and, and, and if not, I'll, I'll definitely see you down in the gym, uh, sorry, the gym, in the uh, changing rooms on the 26th. Oh, yeah, 100%. Are you going to be in the crowd and watch you? I don't know. We'll see if I night. I'll, I'll hopefully be in the changing room, hopefully. Right, okay then. Take care, kiddo. Cheers. And uh, I'll, uh, well, we don't know when, but uh, hopefully. Well, when I do, April now. But when I do, April. I might be saying 3 and 0. Oh. 
100% it, uh, Rio and I, yeah, definitely. Josh, you take care, mate. Thank you Bye. very much. For all boxing, info, news, and latest interviews, Amateur and Pro, across and off, click and subscribe. VIP, boxing promotions. Also, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook.